Hey, what's up everybody? I got something really cool uh, going on tonight. Um, it's a pasta bake. A pasta bake. What do you what do you think of when you think of pasta bake? You, it's like a hamburger helper you just throw in the oven? Oh no, that's not what this is. At all. I've got some bow tie, also known as farfalle. That's going to be my pasta tonight. That's uh, Lynn's favorite, so I'm using that. I also have about three quarters of a pound of smoked beef sausage. Beef. Not that hot doggy looking pork chicken, you know, no, 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 no. Straight up beef. This is what you want. Trust me. So much better. And I have red, yellow, green bell peppers cut up and I have a bunch of onion. I'm also going to add some garlic. And I'm going to make a sauce for this because you can't just throw pasta in a dish with, you know, sausage and call that good. No, no, no. I'm using, uh, it's just Hunt's pasta sauce, roasted garlic and onion. A can of Rotel. You know we love a Rotel around here. Um, and I'm going to finish this with uh, some crispy fried onions, some uh, Pecorino Romano cheese. I'm going to mix that in and then I'm going to top it with the crispy onions and some shredded sharp cheddar because, well, we love our cheddar around here. We'll get a nice blend of flavor with that. It's not going to take very long. Um, essentially, we're going to saute our veggies off, add our sausage, which is already cooked. I mean, you can eat it raw. Like, I don't usually eat on camera, but yeah, perfectly fine. That needs to be heated. This needs to be sweated down and cooked. A little bit of garlic at the end. Get our sauce working. Dump it all on a pan. Mix it around. Shred some stuff on top. Stick it under the broiler. You don't want to put it in the oven. The broiler, we want the, because everything's already cooked, we want the top to be crispy and nice. So, yeah, that was going really, really quick. Oh, that smoked beef sausage. Oh, beautiful. So, um, yeah, check this out. I've got some butter in the skillet here. And you can see it's already completely melted. I've had this working for a little bit. And I'm just gonna dump my veggies in. Give them a little stir. They cool that down really, really, really fast. I actually turned the heat down a little bit because I didn't want to brown the butter, I just wanted it to melt. I might have turned the heat down a little bit too much. But either way, um, as long as we get these, you know, sweated out and, and cooked properly, that's all we care about. Might take a few extra minutes. Add some salt. That looks like a lot, but trust me, it's not. Pepper. You know me, I love my pepper, so of course I'm going to add a uh, metric uh, ton of pepper. Because, well, that's really good. Turn my heat up a little bit because I want this to come out quick. Rotel. I'm not sure if you can see my uh, pot in the background there, but I'm just dumping it in. You do not drain this. Just leave it leave it alone. When we open the can, dump it in. Roasted garlic and onion, dump it in. We might not need all of this sauce. We might have a little bit too much there. We won't know until we know. It's all about ratios. You don't want too much or too little of any one thing. You want it kind of balanced. So we're going to figure that out when we uh, dump it in and uh, throw it under the broiler. Until then, I've turned my heat up a little bit here. And I'm going to just cook the crap out of this. Um, I'm not going to burn it. But I do want this, oof, I do want this to cook through. Um, sweat down the onions a little bit. You don't want raw onion in a pasta. Like that's just, that's a, that's a no-go. So, I'm going to sweat these out. I'm going to get this heated. I already have a pot of boiling water ready for my uh, farfalle, the bow tie pasta. Uh, that only takes, you know, eight minutes, nine minutes. And uh, essentially at that point, you just dump it all together grate some cheese and uh, broil it and you're good to go. So give me a few minutes here while I make sure this is fully cooked. And yeah, that butter and that salt is absolutely paramount to this. 
See, it looks a little soupy right now. And um, these peppers are going to release some water, but that's okay. That's okay. It's going to incorporate with our sauce, which is going to be very thick and very reduced. So we need to um, kind of loosen up the sauce a little bit. This will do that, and it keeps the flavor. That's what you want. So, get a good and hot. Stir it as needed. Get your sauce and your pasta water working, and you're good to go. That's pretty much all there is to this recipe. The final step is to literally just add our cut up beef sausage in to the vegetables. Add it to the vegetables. Um, we get the fats out of it. We get a lot of good stuff going on there. Add that to the vegetables for the last like two minutes. Um, that's it. That's, that's all you gotta do. I am gonna add a little bit of garlic because I love garlic. So before I put the meat in, I'm gonna put the garlic in. Stir that around once this reduces a little bit. And uh, yeah, we're good to go. After that, it's just assembly. So it's very delicious. It's very hearty. You can actually feed a lot of people with this small, simple meal because it is so hearty. Um, but the best part, it's kick ass. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, folks, these peppers and onions, Amazing. Our pasta sauce, stupid hot. Um, I actually turned it down a little bit. Um, at this point, add some garlic, add our sausage. As soon as that gets hot, we're done. We, we literally just dump this in with our pasta, which I, I still have to, to add to my pot and cook that. It takes nine minutes or whatever I said earlier. Um, mix it. Cheese it. Put those crunchy onions. Oh god, those are so good. I, if you've never had them, get them, please. Let me know in the comments below if you like them or not. They're amazing. And, um, yeah. Quick, simple, but absolutely freaking fire delicious. I'm telling you. It just, it's gonna be good. So, yeah. Let's check this out. I've got my little bit of minced garlic here. It's just, you know, in the jar with the oil. Give it a little shake and see if I can get this open, you know. Oh, this is, oh, it's, it's delicious, it's delicious. I'm just gonna take a spoonful, throw it in. I've got all my sausage here. I'm just gonna give this a mix. You can see that these are already done. It kind of looks like they're sticking. But they're actually not. I just haven't moved them around in a couple minutes. Boom. Dump in the sausage. Oh, that one tried to get away. Not on my watch, my sausage. Give it a mix. And you can see we're building up kind of a little bit of bond here. Like, see how it's kind of sticking? And what do you do with that? How do you get that off? You can, people will be like, oh, I add oil or white wine or this or that. Nope. For a case like this, you know, some people would say, like, you could add some sherry because the sherry would actually go, like, quite nicely with this. No. Use the fat from the sausage that we just put in there. See, look, it's already, like, deglazing the pan. We're not making a pan sauce here. We're just cooking this together. We just want this to be hot. That's all we want. And it's already working, see? You don't need any fancy white wines or garbage like that. Nope, we just throw this together. Look at that, peppers, onions, garlic. Oh, that's gonna be absolutely delicious. Once you have this heated through, and once your sauce is pretty much done, which is essentially heated through, um, we're just gonna combine this. That's it. Look at this. Oh, that's going to be really, really, really good. And I'm using one spatula because the flavors are going to marry together. So I'm just going to use this little spatula here. Give my rotel and my garlic and herb sauce a little stir because it's pretty much good to go. It's done. There's only one tricky aspect to cooking this. 
This is hot. This is hot. It's going into a broiler. So when we do our pasta, which we're about to do, uh, we all know how to cook pasta, right? Um, Maybe it's slightly undercooked because it's not fresh. And the, uh, that's my dog. She knows what I'm doing. She wants some sausage. She's not getting any. We don't feed our dogs people food. Um, it'll finish in the oven under that butter. Covered in this delicious sauce with all this meat, all these vegetables. Yep. Boom. I'm shutting that off. I'm not going to turn this down a little. My sauce in the back. I'm going to keep that kind of simmering until my pasta is done. And then I'm going to dump it all together and I'll show you exactly how uh, this comes out. Peppers. And I was like, we got the bell pepper, but then with the rotel, you get like the green chilies and stuff. Um, tomato sauce. We got the Pecorino Romano. Oh man, yeah, that. Well, we love cheddar, so we're gonna put that sharp cheddar on top. Those crunchy onions. Um, yeah, toss it under the broiler. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, the dogs. Uh, never mind them. Sorry about that. They do it all the time. But um, we're in good shape, and we'll see you in a minute. Our sausage, peppers, and onions, they're done. Um, our pasta sauce is done. Our pasta itself is done. I've got some pecorino uh, romano. Um, think uh, like Parmesan cheese, but uh, better. And of course, you know me, sharp cheddar. Ready to roll. I've just got a big baking pan here. It's like a, like a 9 by 13 or something. Uh, this is a Pyrex, it's your standard size. I'm gonna take my pasta, which is done, and literally just kind of dump it in there. You don't need to be all fancy with it or, you know, no pasta bay here. Oh, well, it was salt bay or something they said, right? Yeah. We've got our pasta, cool. Next step, look at all of that. I don't know how well you can see this. All of that sausage, the peppers, the onions. Oh yeah. Don't drain this, don't strain this. You want all of that butter, all of that sausage fat. You want everything in here. It's just gonna make it taste amazing. I'm just kind of spreading it around a little bit. Not that big of a deal. Just kind of get it in there. Oh, but wait, what else do we need to add? Pecorino Romano. Just give it a good dusting. Try to, you know, even it out a little bit, but if you do, you do. If you don't, you don't. It doesn't matter. Why? Because we're going to spread this around by stirring. We want this to actually melt in. So that's what we're doing. I'm going to spin it around. It'll melt right in there. This stuff is stupid hot. We don't need to really add any salt or pepper or anything. We already um, checked our you know sauces and everything for flavor, but you get a lot of salt out of the sausage. Um, and the pasta, as long as you actually make your pasta water salty enough, it doesn't need anything. Boom. Stir it up. Next step, our pasta sauce. Give it a quick little stir. We've got that rotel, we've got that garlic and herb sauce in there. Gonna be amazing. Dump it in. Next step, stir. I mean, this is really, really stupid simple. This is, um, it's like hamburger helper on crap. Did you see that sausage get away from me? Oh, it just, it totally did. It got away from me. It's on the floor, so I'm not gonna pick it up and eat it. I mean, I'm on camera, so I can't be doing that. Be careful. 
The sausage knows it's so good that it's about to be eaten. So it's going to try to get away from you. Do not let it. Yep, there we go. Now, some people like heavily, heavily, heavily sauce pasta. Some people like lightly sauce pasta. Some people just do it with like butter and oil. Whatever you like, that's on you. I like mine medium. You know, a good amount of sauce, you know, six of the pasta, but not um, swimming in the, uh, in the sauce. So, yeah, give it a stir. Have a little mix. Make sure everything's, you know, got a little bit of coating on it. And then kind of flatten it out a little bit because the next part, which you're going to see right here, oh, that cheese. I'm not doing breadcrumbs or anything because I have crunchy onions. I'm just going to take this cheese and just kind of crumble it over the top. I'm going to shake it around a little bit. Whatever uh, method of distribution you prefer when it comes to your cheese, use that. As long as the cheese is on there, you're good to go. One last step. Crispy onions. Throw in the broiler, and um, it's only gonna take like five minutes in the broiler. It'll crisp the onions, it'll melt the cheese. Make sure everything is heated to about the same temperature. These things are amazing. They're a lifesaver, I'll tell you. Well, there we have it. Into the water we go. About five minutes. I'll show you what my finish. Oh, really? Did I really just say that? I try to put uh, my my finely produced product and finished product together at the same time. <coughs> um, so there we go. And um, once I get this out of the broiler, I'll show you what the finished product looks like. And um, I guarantee you're gonna like this because I know I am. I want to eat it already, but. Um, well, I'm, I'm not quite done here yet, so see you in a minute. Holy crap. This is amazing. Use your pot holders so you don't burn yourself, but look at this. The crunchy onions, the cheese, the pasta. Oh, man. We got that beef sausage in there. Um, oh, this is going to be awesome. I'm going to put some in a bowl and show you what it looks like. And the um, best part is I'm going to try uh, not to burn myself this time. You know as well as I do. Chances are I'm going to burn myself. Oh, I don't know if you can hear that. Probably not. Beautiful crunch. Beautiful crunch. The cheese is absolutely browned and nice, melty, stringy. Oh yeah. This is, uh, this is actually going to work out. I, you know, I literally just, uh, kind of came up with this on the spot. So, um, it's not like some recipe. I don't, I don't get recipes, you know, online and try to recreate them. No, I just make this stuff up off the top of my head. And, um, I've eaten quite a lot of food in my life, obviously, because, well, I'm, I'm not going to tell you how old, but I'm old. Um, so I just recreate it from memory, but I put a kick-ass twist on it, and, uh, oh boy, I'm not sure if you can see this or not. I've got all the cheesy crunchy layer, and I've got some of the, just the pasta here, just so you can see kind of the juxtaposition of the two. Um, there's a nice, awesome pasta underneath this cheesy layer, but holy crap, this is going to be good. And, um, I made quite a bit, so we're probably going to have seconds or thirds tonight. And, um, I hope you do too. Please like, subscribe, um, you know, share this with your friends. Um, even if they don't like this video, they may like a, another video. I've got quite a few up there, so, um... Check it out, see what you like, see what you don't like, and uh, let me know in the comments below if you like something. 
Let me know in the comments below if you don't like something and you're like, hey, you know what, I tried this and it was crap. Um, try doing it this way. Here, add this or, you know, do this or don't do that. Um, let me know because I just want to get better. I want to get better for you. And, um, well, I'm about done talking because I'm getting ready to eat. So I'll see you on the next one. Stay fruity.